Okay. My hair, Jesus, Matt. <laughs> my hair is like a blanket. <laughs> the, did you change your mic after he did that? No. I think you did. <laughs> I changed my mic. Look at all, all, all of ours are at a 45 all degree angle. Oh, okay. Move it over a little. There you go. Perfect. Is this good? Yeah. We get Matt one of those. Oh, you just did it again. Yeah, why do you keep mic? twisting it? <laughs> because I feel like I'm tall and it should just be up at an angle. But... No, but then you're oh. talking over it. Yeah. Okay. 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 God damn it. What's good, everybody? <laughs> <laughs> What's good? <laughs> Matt, what is so funny? He's doing it like, he I, I feel like, like, a, like a youth pastor or something. Like, <laughs> what's good, everybody? What's the good news? What's the tea? Um, no, what's good, everybody? Welcome to Good Influences. I am Matt King. We have Mike Shepard, Carly and Contro, and Aaron Gilfoy. And today, the topic of Good Influences is movies, cinema, um, films, if you will. I and think I'm gonna go. <laughs> Nobody needs to be here. Yeah. Carly, I think you have some good takes on movies. We'll see. I just I have a thing where if you name a classic movie, I probably haven't seen it. Well, we're not. We don't have to like focus and dive into the classics. We can no. talk about. Okay. Talk you about know, you. Okay. <laughs> we can get a little nostalgic about like how we used to like consume movies. We can talk about our favorite childhood movies. We can talk about movies that were the most memorable, the scariest movie you've ever seen. Mm. Oh yeah. It can go so <laughs> many places. But it's like Halloween. Was we movie. also have a lot of listener. Um, Emails? Submissions? Submissions. Thank you. Oh, my God. I can't think. Um, so if you didn't know, that is a big part of our podcast. It's a lot of listener-based convos. So if you would like to be a part of that, you can email us at goodinfluencespodcast at gmail.com. And over on our Instagram, each week we post what the topic will be about. So make sure to follow us there so that you know what's going on. And I just want to say thank you so much to everybody who has been leaving, like, the best comments yeah. on the YouTube channel. I've read all of them. I, yeah, I was really responding. Was to until, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was responding to some at four in the morning yeah, because I, I um I found it comforting. You guys are a really great community, and I just want to like I don't know say my appreciation towards you guys. And um, did you see the comment that someone left that was like, it was on our hot takes episode. They were like, I agree with everything except for not having children, and they basically left like. A page long <gasps> comment. That yeah, I read was that like, this morning. Like, yeah. what is the meaning of life if yeah, you're just going to go around, dick around, and have fun and then die and not leave? Like, yeah, that they're like, like the you best need life. to leave your mark <laughs> on the world. Otherwise, your life isn't worth living. That's like, so crazy because you can do that in different ways. <laughs> no, I know. It was so weird. Oh, I love we have crazy fans. <laughs> That's, that's that's really cool. That we have. Also, at the same time, I was like, "Did Matt write this?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he has to. He wants to get yeah. so bad. Oh, well, I wish. Um, we come to this place for magic. We come to AMC theaters to laugh, to cry, to care. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Okay, Heart no, please keep going. Okay, yes, I do. <laughs> Heartbreak feels good in a place like this. That's become like the national anthem right now in a it's lot a big of uh, meme. do people now clap when they see it? Yeah. Have you been to a theater where yes. they do that? Yes. It's oh, really funny. Connor Franta and I like stood up and like <laughs> I made it like the pledge where we put our hands over our heart. But I clapped when I was in Alabama and nobody else clapped. <gasps> Embarrassing. So I felt a little crazy. <laughs> to clarify, this is if you go to AMC movie theaters, Nicole, is it Nicole Kidman? Uh -huh. Yeah. Yes. She does like this intro before the movies to like talk about the nostalgia and the grace and the beauty of films and like welcoming you to the movie theaters and How, somehow it became why did it become such a meme do we know i think it came off kind of cringe at she's first so smug where it went on very very long she's wearing this elegant like gala gown <laughs> inside <laughs> the theater. theater she comes in and you know gold kidman ain't walking into an amc <laughs> like that yeah. no and she sits and watches this screen in the most like obvious like <laughs> I like don't know, dazzling acting. way where she's just. <laughs> and so I think people at first like hated it and then came to love it. And now they've demanded it. And it's really Do you funny. think it's like a little camp the way people love it? Yes. Yeah. I it's think like that... ironic and mm -hmm. not really. I haven't seen it. I've seen it on like Sally and Brooke stories. And like, that's why I know what you're talking about. But you, I, wait, you haven't seen Nicole no, Kidman's. I haven't been to a movie theater and like, I can't tell you how long. To an AMC specifically. Oh, get, you gotta go back. Mm, I'd rather a... just like watch at my house. But the magic of the cinema is still alive. <laughs> yeah. We do love movies. <laughs> Hold on. I don't even know where I'm going with this. I Where's also... my water bottle? I'm sorry. Is it? It's right there. 
Oh, Matt knows water every time. <laughs> my bad. Matt wakes up early one time and just yeah. his brain just Where doesn't work. Where is all my stuff? <laughs> um, the thing that I do like, I think that COVID made it so obvious how accessible it can be now to just like you know send the movie straight to streaming services yeah. and yes. be able to watch it from the comfort of your own home i'm also like a big peer and when i go to the mm-hmm. movies i always get snacks and like sodas whatever and i constantly like i'm like holding it until and then it makes it unbearable yeah. you know about the website run yes. have you ever used it no because i haven't been you're not yeah, you're also I've not known. seeing movies in theaters Wait, too yeah what is that? It tells you what's happening. Yeah, like, no, it tells you the parts to go pee. Yeah, during, and then it will tell like you boring. what you missed. Like it's someone who watched the movie and dissected the plot, and then it's like if you have to pee, wait until the scene where John talks to whatever, go pee, and then it will tell you, okay, here's what happened in that scene. Wow. And it's like so you don't miss important plot points. There should be an app somehow. It like syncs up and knows you're at the movie theater, you and you can watch start. it. Well, you can watch stuff while you're going pee and come back. Uh, why don't they have okay. that? But that's also why I'm just like... <laughs> uh, uh, like uh, just so you can be a pee screen and like... No, no, you okay. push play on the back of the bathroom <laughs> stall. There's screens like in the like airplane. airplane. Thing. Yeah. yeah, no, I'm thinking like an app and you have to like connect to the Wi-Fi so you can't take it home or something. Like you can't watch it at home <laughs> and you can play it. Something very Matt, small. you know what? I think this is a great <laughs> idea. Hey, <And> sharks. <laughs> <laughs> you ever have to go pee pee or a movie? Movie. That's you're what you're, you're in the, the bathroom future. being like bumping into people being oh sorry like <laughs> you just focus on your business all the movies are playing at the but same it time also the if you're in this yeah if you're in the stall like it could potentially ruin a movie for someone who hasn't <sighs> seen it i guess maybe they could provide you with headphones <laughs> 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 Usually, for a total like rock and roller coaster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can predict the times you need to go pee after like something that's a huge like action moment. Yeah, I know you that mean. that following scene isn't going to be that entertaining. They have to calm down. But you might miss something integral to yes. the yeah. plot. That, I never like, try. I try never to pee during a movie. Same. Yeah, I'll be so upset if I miss something important and the whole movie doesn't make sense. Yeah, dude. Oh. The Lord. Yeah, sorry. Go on. No, no, no go on. The Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. <laughs> I never had, this was when I was a child. I had to pee so bad during that movie. I like three I, hours. I think I damaged my bladder during that movie. I was, you got a UTI. I, I, I was never the same because it was a three hour long movie yeah. and my bladder, like, uh, I think was strained. Like, I think I have stretch marks on my bladder from that, from that evening. Is another reason you don't like seeing movies in theaters because you're a subtitle girl? No, I'm not a subtitle you're not girl. You're not a subtitle girl. Anti-subtitle. TJ is, okay. right? And you're not. Yes. Yes, that's, that's what, what it is. is. I literally, okay. if movies, I know this is like so ignorant to me, but like I can't watch stuff and enjoy it if I have to read. So I haven't seen like any foreign film because I literally, I'm like, I can't read and then like figure out what's also <laughs> happening. <laughs> you haven't watched like Parasite? No. But also what? that's that's a scary one, so I wasn't gonna watch it either yeah, way. Yeah, Iron One see it anyway. Parasite isn't like it's not scary. Scary. I don't think it's it's scary. like a, I feel like for Aaron it would be yeah. yeah. Um because of like she hates home break ins and it's sort of mm. I'm just like not into the that genre. If you wanna read a book, you wanna read a book. You don't wanna a hundred percent. Yeah. I feel like we also had this conversation. It's like you read the subtitles before you see what happens <laughs> mm-hmm. and so then it like spoils it. Yeah. I, I don't like subtitles on American films either. Like, yeah. if I'm watching a movie for the first time and there's subtitles on it, completely takes me out of it. Yeah. I just see the screenwriters. I see how the actor did the line. Like, it just completely pulls me out of the reality of the film. Yeah, so yeah. I am very anti-subtitles. I will say I'm the same way, but when I saw Parasite, I feel like I kind of forgot about it. You know? You're, yes. And, and it's, it's, yeah, it's... I, I feel know. like I have to go in being like, okay, I'm going to read now. <laughs> Not like I'm going to watch a movie. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I just have to be in the mindset. But it's like that I'm even with like TV now. shows. It's like, I don't want to do that. Like TJ's parents, they are like big subtitles people. So like whenever I'm with them, I do have to watch stuff with subtitles. And I will say like there have been multiple times where I've gone back and like rewatched things that I watched Whoa. with them. Because of the subtitles? I just like, it's it ruins it <laughs> yeah, for me. Ruins not, it. Like I get it oh. and I understand why people like them. I'm not like, you're a loser because you use <laughs> subtitles, but like they're just yeah. not for me personally. I guess I fall in love with the screenwriting like yeah, while I'm no. reading it and also uh, hearing like the actor's interpretation of a line. The is... first time you're watching it, you want to process all of that information? Yeah. Well, like, but I'm not paying, it, I'm not yeah. reading every single subtitle <laughs> But there are just moments where I just want some clarification on what's going on, and I'll focus on that, and then I focus on the picture. Are you so what you're that... saying is you're too dumb to understand <laughs> what's happening on the screen? <laughs> wow. No, I'm kidding. No. But <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes when I, when I go see movies in theaters, I wish there were subtitles, because sometimes I think they're just like, 
You well, can I'm get them. Blah, blah, blah. Like, it's like ha- little oh, handheld yeah. for deaf people. Yeah, yeah. it's really like hard of hearing. It's really cool. It looks like a little screen that comes out of the. Like Where? A, I don't know At if it's some every theaters. theater. Yeah, it's not on TikTok. Yes, yeah, oh yes, it's on that iPad, and then they then they have like the the PP screen too on <laughs> it too as well. <laughs> I wish. Carly's PP screen. <laughs> Whatever. I'll be making millions from my invention. <laughs> well, yeah. no. All right. Um, when we go to the movies, what kind of what kind of snacks are we getting? Ooh, um, I love dibs. Oh, dibs, the ice cream. Yep. Okay, uh, Kim K. I, yeah. <laughs> I like them before Kim K. No, not really. But um, yeah, I do love dibs. I love ice cream. I like junior mints. Ooh. Junior mints are so good. And they're like, my breath kind of smells good. Yeah, we kind of, we are big like junior mints people. I love them. And then popcorn, obviously. Do you ever sneak in food into the theaters when you go? I used to all the time, but now I don't go to the theater. So. Yeah. <laughs> There's also two tricks that I used to do. God, this is terrible. And I think probably illegal. But um, if you just go into the garbage and pull out a popcorn bag, most places have free refills or like half price refills. It's like one of his first vlogs. That's really disgusting. No, we, we don't. You, they give you. They give so you, a new. you take the bag oh. out and then you rip the bags. So just in case they want to refill it, you rip the bag so it's unusable, and you say, "Hey, can I just get a refill on this?" And usually it's free refills, so we'll give you a new bag and free popcorn every That's time. Smart. Same with cups too. You just grab a cup out, like rip the cup, and be like, "Hey, can I just get a free refill?" And they'll give you a new cup, so oh. you never have to pay for a popcorn. Damn, it's a hack. <laughs> I, I only did it one time, and it was like an exhilarating rush. I was like, "Oh my uh, god, yeah, like I could join the CIA the now." Um, my mom used to. Um, she would pop popcorn at home and then put it in a Ziploc bag and like put it in her sweatshirt. <laughs> but it's not the same. Same. <laughs> No, I know, but it's just like funny. Yeah, that is funny. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I love but, getting nachos. I get nachos and ooh. I get jalapenos. Ooh. And I put, I place a jalapeno on each nacho chip and I do You're that. making full, do you bring like a, <laughs> no, like a tray <laughs> table too to start at a chef's <laughs> knife? Are you, oh, you're so, not going to I pick? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not this that bad. Like, uh, um, okay, so here's what like I do. a little tray. The little nachos, they usually come in yeah, like a little thing. Yeah, it's in a little thing. However, I usually will stack, um all the jalapenos like where the cup holder is and I'll usually put the my drink down below my feet until I'm ready to <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Yeah, it's a whole thing, but it's so good. I love jalapenos. Do you get a Diet Coke? Um I honestly ha- when the last couple times I've been to movies I haven't gotten anything, but yeah, that would be my drink of choice. Yeah. For oh, sure. yeah. I, get, I get a cherry coke. If they have like Ooh. the Coca-Cola freestyle machine, that's where <laughs> sometimes freestyle. I do like a yeah, the Coca-Cola freestyle <laughs> Every, machine. <laughs> it's like the red one with the screen. No, I you know can what it get, is. Like, I didn't know it was called that. Those, those are so funny. called freestyle machines? Yeah. Okay. Coca-Cola freestyle. It says it on it. Anyways. <laughs> I've just never paid attention to it. Yeah. I get like a cherry Dr. Pepper Ooh, or like a yum. grape soda. Like if I'm feeling like a fun soda, yeah. <laughs> getting that and then like a medium popcorn okay. and then maybe like a pizza. <laughs> Yum. Do you do pickles no candy? at the movie theater? Uh, yes, most of the pickles? time. Yeah, this is a very Texas thing. I really? explain that it, uh, most movie theaters in Texas all have like a pickle, like it's a full pickle, like a big pickle, like the big Disney pick- pickle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Big jumbo pickle. It's so <laughs> just, noisy. Watch yeah, I was like, literally <laughs> just gonna say everyone crunching <laughs> on the pickles. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> but we went to the, the AMC in North Hollywood. They got a jumbo pickle. So <gasps> I was oh. so excited. He was like, "Oh my." Oh my God, they have pickles here. Mike, you don't understand. This is like what we do in Texas. Your childhood. And they're like individually wrapped, which is like kind of, it feels like kind of gross. Oh, is it like, a gas station vibe? Yeah. yeah it's like the ones that they have at Disney. Yes. But those are, is that our Disney's like stuffed or Some something? of them, yeah. They have spicy pickles there too. Mm, yum. Yum, yum. <sighs> What's your favorite pickle movie? Pickle the movie. Pickle, <laughs> the pickle man. <laughs> Wait, what's like, the... What's your favorite line about a pickle? Like, mine is in what? The Little Rascals where she's like, I got a pickle. Oh, I got, I got a, a pickle. pickle. I, I got, got a pickle today. Hey, pickle. hey. <laughs> were you going to ask me like the Bible, the Bible movies from when you were a kid? No, there was a... Veggie Tales? Oh, an American pickle. Yes, that's what I was thinking I of. haven't seen and that, he's no. So I know. Really good. I want to watch it. It's Seth Rogen. He plays like an oh. old Jewish man. Have you seen it? No, TJ was just watching it. It's really good. It's good? Yeah, he was like... Yeah, I loved it. Oh, Jason told me it was terrible. Oh, but I, I'll, I well, will watch it. a different taste. I guess. Okay, it's not incredible. It's a good like packing movie. Like it's a movie you turn on like when you're packing. Okay, <laughs> he watched it on Southwest flight because it was like free on the app. Okay, it, oh. it's like a good airplane yeah. movie. You know how there's like certain movies where like That's you yeah. don't need to fully sit down and enjoy. You can well, there's some movies that are really good because you're on an airplane. Like if you're at home, it wouldn't be that good. So what movie is good on an airplane? I've seen. I don't know she what it is. Rom com. I love. Or like dramas, like I will watch oh. it all day on a plane. Like 
someone dying, sign me up. Like I need to be because I need to be paying attention. <laughs> Do you? And to me, it's like I'm I'm so enthralled with it, and I'm like, what's gonna happen that the time just goes by really yeah. fast? Yeah, that's a thing. Thing I've like read and experienced. People like when they watch movies on planes, all your emotions are so much more heightened, and like people will cry watching movies on planes because it's like they're just so much more connected to it. Uh-huh. Do you feel that same way? Where like when mm-hmm. you watch a movie on a plane, you're more invested in it. Um, I'm probably more invested, but like, I'm not really ever crying. You I, don't never, feel, you, I don't feel heightened. You've never way. cried on an airplane movie? Um, I don't think so. I don't really cry during movies. Sitting in 23C oh. sobbing? I've, <laughs> yeah. I've cried on an airplane, not because of the movie. <laughs> really? Why do you cry on an airplane? Just because I'm scared. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I feel like I'm the opposite on a flight because I'm constantly Xing out to see where we are. Oh, oh my God. Map. Oh, I'm really? that so bizarre. <laughs> I'll be looking ahead. Like one time she was next to me, but one ahead. And I kept looking. I was like, why does she keep like zooming yeah, I like in? to know where we are. <laughs> Just in case you crash and land, like zoomer, what? Zip code? Uh, no, because then it's like uh, on the new planes too. It's like they don't really like section off the states anymore. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so I'm like zooming in. I'm like, okay, are we in Nebraska yet or not? Like it's getting a little turkey. So tracking the like software updates are. on yeah. Zoom. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, do you have iOS four? <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, I, I I like doubt the accuracy of those. Like, I, like are we really over Idaho yeah. or are we somewhere totally? Oh, you different? doubt the accuracy? Yeah, because sometimes I think like they go. It's already like pre-programmed, and they like have a route, and they just show that video the whole time. I don't oh. think it's like being. I that's don't really a... think that's the technology that's up there at the front. No, that's I don't what know the what you're flying. Sees. It's real because the last few times I've flown, like it's literally showing. Like I had to get rerouted. Our flight got rerouted through Texas, flying from here to the east coast and so my whole flight literally was just zigzags so i guess i kind of debunks it then like if you get rerouted it's yeah gonna... yeah i think it's real i don't think they're playing a video i don't think you can get away with that i like to pretend that's what the pilot sees and i'm like yeah i could be a pilot this is, <laughs> oh, we got it this is fine yeah. they should have gopros all around the plane you can tune in to any of them and just like watch the some, sky some flights that. do that yeah what? you know what wait we're, we're talking about cinema this is cinema um, what was uh the first what was your first rated r movie oh god Ooh. uh i think titanic probably like oh. titanic's pg-13 i think no, there's a boob in it. Yeah, but that's I think PG-13. that's why it's PG thirteen. There's no boobs in a PG thirteen movie. Yeah, I'm like ninety nine percent sure. Fact check. I'll fact I might check be right wrong. Now. Mine was probably like Titanic's American of- Pie or something like one of those. Oh, oh yeah, I was not allowed to watch those. Oh, I definitely wasn't. It wasn't like my parents sat me down and were like, "Here you go, honey." <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember the TV guide in that we would like in the, the paper? Book? It was that little yes. like um. It was the TV guide, and it would tell you everything that was playing that week on TV. Mm-hmm. And you'd be able to see, like, oh, at 7 o'clock on HBO, they're going to show American Pie. So we, we would plan our sleepovers all around, oh. like, whose house we could stay at so we could watch TV. Oh, and my God, that's, that's so, cute. so cute. Yeah. And see some boobs. Yeah, you see some boobs, man. Yeah. American Pie. Was that your first? Um, uh, Yeah, I, I think I, I think so. Uh, no, I actually think it, it was like an – oh, it was uh, James Bond, Golden oh. Eye. James was Bond. Rated R? I think Probably so. Probably violence. Definitely. Mm. I, I don't know if I've ever seen James Bond. I definitely haven't. <laughs> Not one James Bond movie. No. Mm-mm. Aren't there like multiple James Bonds, like yes. men? Yes. Actors. There, I mean, oh, yeah. they've been, been doing it since like the '60s. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. That's too and many. they never, they don't, they never address it. It's just a new actor, and then. It's just oh, like, you what? It's like they're the playing same, the same man. It's the same character for like 40 years. Yeah. James Bond. His name's James Bond. It's the Bond. same guy. Yeah. Oh, I didn't companies? know if it was like, this is my nephew, Paul Bond. <laughs> Paul Bond. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't know. No, they, it's just like the same. And there's other characters too that they just keep replacing. Like Wait, his what? his like co workers, they just replace them with new actors and actresses also. Okay. They, are in, they like getting older? Like, are they aging? No, no, no they no. just keep it within like. The universe. It's a weird universe. It's not all chronological, but like Ian Fleming wrote so many uh, James Bond novels that they just like. Wait, they're books? (laughs) Yeah, they started as books. (laughs) I guess we'll have to read them. (laughs) Wait, is it like Batman where it's like, obviously it's a different actor, but. Yes, it's like Batman. Yes. Or like Spider-Man where it's different actors, but the same. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Although apparently I read that the. But James Bond books were like super like racist and misogynistic oh. and like they were written in like the 50s and the guy yeah. was just like uh, like say, someone on Reddit uncovered it they were like this book is horrific like we should not be making movies based on this character but Damn. oh my god um, I had no idea 
Okay, I didn't know that it was like that. Are you, For are some you, reason, I just thought that it was like... Like sequels or something yeah. and they're replacing? Oh. No, I'm thinking... Yeah, I was thinking Not like of, remakes. Has there been a book that you guys have read that you think is better than the movie or is the movie always better than the book? Aaron, I think no, we know. The, mm, wait, a book that we've read that's better than the movie? Yeah. Yeah, on three. One, two, three. Twilight. Twilight. The Goldfinch. <laughs> <laughs> Kill a mockingbird. <laughs> they're they're just so juvenile. I'm like, Twilight. Did you read the Twilight books yes. before the movies? Okay. Yes. I read, I was obsessed with them. I was Same. in the middle of the last one when the first movie came out and it was so bad to me. It ruined it and I didn't even finish it. I probably had like 100 pages the left. The movies are The movie horrible. ruined the book. Yes. I think. Ruined. Oh, completely. I don't know if it ruined the book, but like it was just like, this is an embarrassment to the society. Book. <laughs> to and our society. society and my life but isn't twilight like supposed to be bad i think now if you look at it it's like oh it's funny like it's not i don't think it was initially no. supposed to be bad and it's... i think people who didn't read the books probably really enjoyed it yeah and like watching it now it's just like a lol and i feel like for most people it's kind of like they watch it ironically not because they enjoy it especially if they read the books but we're just not twilight movie girlies yeah. the Cull- fuck the cullens i think that's the weirdest <laughs> family ever they've been alive for hundreds of years hundreds of years and they have millions of dollars oh tons uh, tons of tons of money and they want to go back to high school <laughs> it is kind of creepy when you really think yeah. about it yeah. like a AP bio like, it's like a 200 year old guy hitting on like a 17 year old girl yeah yeah like, no, that's there's the like most a interesting lot of <laughs> questionable thing yeah i guess like, it is kind of problematic like even the whole thing between about like jacob and edward like fighting over her and like making her their property but then like jacob who is a werewolf like bella has a baby and then he imprints on her and is like i'm gonna love mm. your baby yeah that's sketchy so, like there's a lot of problematic things but also it's like not real <laughs> yeah <laughs> wait it's not <laughs> hold on it's not based on a true story yeah. they do have a little uh movie fun fact they have a the house that bella lives in in the movie in seattle mm-hmm. uh, they have the airbnb so, so like you can go stay at the airbnb like where they filmed of where they filmed of twilight yeah, that's really we cool. should we really should cool. go there and like recreate stuff like where you been loca <laughs> <laughs> yeah but you guys would have to watch it for you've seen it right yes actually I've I've seen parts. I, I, yeah i've been no. good yeah i've read well <laughs> you haven't no yeah, that's on my list i don't think i've seen how many twilight movies are there there's four or five three I oh, think four. Then, I've, then I've seen all three. Well, I, I think there's five because there's four books, right? And the last book was two movies, I believe. Okay. Part one and part two or something. I'm pretty And then they, she up. just put out a new book. I went, I went like and saw year. Eclipse at mid... Wait. Oh, you know the names and everything. It's Twilight, New Moon, Eclipse. Yeah. And then mm-hmm. Breaking Dawn. Mm-hmm. Yep. I think I went and saw Breaking Dawn at, Stan. <laughs> at, at, at midnight. I saw Breaking Dawn at midnight. Oh, oh my God. Do you know, um, I don't know what the actor's name is. He's in the Volturi. He's like the vampire who's in Stranger Things and plays Vecna. He's in Twilight. Jamie Bauer. Yeah. The guy who tweeted about me. Yes. Yes. What did he yeah. say about you? I sent it to you guys. Um, Jamie Bauer, the guy who plays Vecna in Stranger Things back in the Vine days. This was like summer of 2014. Oh, yes, yes, yes. He tweeted at me and was like, like, oh my God, Matt, I want. do you want to be friends? And then he tweeted again and goes, Matt, for real, I want to play with you. <laughs> yeah, that's right. What? So Very bizarre. Um, but yeah, yeah. I, I mean, like, I got the screenshots. Baby. We can show them right now. <laughs> This is Jamie. <laughs> this is Vecna. Here's the tweeting the about me, and he never responded to me, but he still follows me on Twitter. So interesting. Oh, I wonder if he still wants geez. to play with you. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, what a weird tweet. Very is that something weird. British people say, or is that like I want to play with you? I don't know. King. Okay. What would be? Well, I don't know who will understand this, but what would be your Vecna movie? So for those who haven't seen a movie that you could watch like on repeat over and over again, and like not get sick of it. Why is that the Vecna movie? Okay, you don't watch Stranger Things? No. Mike? (laughs) Is that the running up that hill? Yeah, that's her Vecna song. Okay. Vecna's a monster in Stranger Things. I'm not really spoiling it anything no. okay um and uh, the way he he gets in your head he's almost like freddy krueger where he uh tries to in get your you in your weakness and uh put you in this trance and take your soul okay uh, but the way <laughs> that you can get out of the trance is that your friends like play a song from reality and that you really love and that gets you to escape that the nightmare that he's like putting 
on you. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. for one of the characters, she loves running up the hill by Kate Bush. She hears that and is able to like Escape. get out of it. Yeah. So Got if it. there was a movie instead of a song. Oh, that's a great question. Yeah. What Thank would you. be able to pull you out of an evil uh, trance? Before we answer this question, there's a guy, <laughs> Mel Blank. Do you know who this is? No. He's the voice. Mel Brooks. No, Mel Blank. Oh, I thought you were like quizzing us. No, no, no. no. <laughs> His name is Mel Blank. B-L-A-N-C. He was the voice of like every single Looney Tune, Bugs Bunny, oh. Elmer Fudd, Foghorn Leghorn, Daffy Duck, like every single cartoon character. He is the voice of like when you watch all of those Hanna Barbera cartoons, it just says voices by and it's one guy. Oh my god! So he's he's like known as the man of a thousand voices. Like you know his voice. He got like sick one time when he was like in his old age, went into a coma, mm. and. They were trying to like, Mel, Mel, wake up. Like they were trying to get to him. And then someone said, hey, Bugs. And he goes, what's up, doc? And that's like what got him out of his coma is they asked Bugs Bunny a question. And he came what? out of his coma from being Bugs Bunny. You're and then they lying. That's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> it's no a real thing that happened. Way. Yeah. So this thing is based on maybe the Mel Blank story about, but that's like a thing with like wow. coma coma people. You can get them out of their comas coma with people. like, <laughs> you know what you I mean? You know, coma people. I mean, I'll fact, right. check, I'll well, fact check that. But. Well, if, oh, hope, hopefully we're never in a coma, <laughs> but if it did happen, what could uh, get Back you out of Back to the future. Back to the future. Oh, I've never seen that one. Oh, I want to watch that with you because you said that you can like recite every line of yes, it. Yes, I can do that. You want to watch it? That would drive me insane. <laughs> I Guys, wouldn't ever do it. Next week's podcast yeah. episode is just going to be Mike reciting every line of Back to just the Future. Just reading the script. I hundred percent would watch it with you. I like. I know that's probably annoying to be with somebody who's reciting no, every line. I was kidding. Like, but I think it's it. really cool if somebody does know it all. And so, I can do that with Seinfeld too. Like you can put oh. on any frame of a Seinfeld episode, wow. and I'll tell you what episode it's from. Wow, yeah. well, there's so many. It's I know, hundred and eighty episodes. Anyway, Back to the Future would be mine. What would be your guys? Um, I would either say Groundhog is my favorite movie, and I love watching it over Groundhog and over. Day? Groundhog Day. Sorry, oh, okay. Groundhog. Did I just say Groundhog? <laughs> yeah, so Sorry, I just to didn't get a lot of hours sure. of sleep. <laughs> Groundhog Day, but uh. The movies that I know the back, like the back of my hands, it would be Bring It On. Yes. Oh my, oh my god. god. Or one. Um, Pineapple Express. Oh, oh yeah, that's a okay. good one. I can w recite ev like most every line. You know all the beats. All the you're not surprised by that movie. You know what's happening in every scene. Yeah, I can do it. Like I to a I point where I could be pretty far in a competition. I think. <laughs> in a competition. Which one are you stronger at? <sighs> Probably maybe bring it on. Ooh. Why? I wait. Oh. I sort. And, and now, now I pass the torch. The, the ballots are in. And, and one girl has to win. She's perky. She's, she's fun. And, and now she's number one. one to, to, to Torrance. You're Your Captain, Captain Torrance. Torrance. Dude. Let's go Taurus, where we are the Taurus, the mighty, <laughs> mighty Taurus. We're so terrific. Is there a reason you've seen this movie so many times? Because like my babysitter, my babysitter was a cheerleader, and I had a crush on her. Oh, I knew and she would come over and be like, don't here. tell your parents, we're watching Bring It On. And I would just be like so enamored by her watching it that you just I, watch her. I just, you I was obsessed with it. Oh I don't know. Oh my God. That's really cute. And I, I liked all that. the flips. Yeah. Did you, was, watch, the flips. Did you watch Cheer then? Cheer on Netflix? the movie. Che oh no no no! Oh. I'm not into like. Well, you like the flip, real so. cheer. <laughs> Actually, I don't like real cheer. <laughs> I'd be curious, like, what is the best cheer team right now? And like, show me the routine. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> oh, okay, all right. <laughs> well, show it to me. Later. <laughs> all right, Aaron. What's your Vecna movie? My Vecna movie is Ten Things I Hate About You. <gasps> Great one. Thank you. you I, I thought I was gonna time. get like some judgment. Yeah, Carly watched it for the first time like a few months ago. Mm -hmm. What? Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm telling you, I haven't seen like a lot of movies. What's... I've never seen it either. Have you what? seen? You know, it's Taming of the Shrew. We yeah. talk. Yeah. Then we talk about this on Ten Things I Hate About oh, You. Yeah, Taming yeah, of the Shrew. Oh, it was our yes! episode. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. Yeah. Um, Ten Things I Hate About You. I really want to go to that school. We got it. Someone actually DM'd me, and she said that they do tours. Oh my god. We're going. Yeah. I think <laughs> we'll we'll it. take a trip up uh, to the north northwest and go to. Forks, <laughs> Forks, Washington, and uh, the other part of <sighs> Seattle. What? Oh, you're. I going realize soon. I have plans tonight, though. <laughs> I, I would be that quirky enough to go Today. right after this. I'll look into it. We can okay. do a little field trip. Yeah, it would be Forks. really fun. I've never been to is it Portland or Seattle? I think it's Seattle. It's Seattle. The but troll it's like, under it's the like bridge. Off of a, it's like an off of Seattle. I'm pretty sure. Someone okay. was like, have it's you ever like been to the Pacific Northwest in general? Mm-hmm. I've been oh, to Seattle. Vancouver. 
Yeah, I want to go to Seattle and Portland and all those places. I feel like it would be a really interesting... What's your interesting... favorite Portland uh, movie? Or your favorite Oregon movie? Oregon? Huh? I, don't, I got a couple. <laughs> uh, Astoria. It, or, well, Astoria is the best like uh, movie location place. I would Why say The Goonies. Right I'd be like <laughs> Free Willy and Kindergarten oh, Cop. Oh, I loved Free Willy. Beautiful uh, movies that take place in Astoria. <laughs> Being ridiculous. Do you have a Vecna movie, yeah, Carly? <laughs> Probably that thing you do. I've seen it so that many times. Thing you the do. Tom Hanks film? Yes. Wow. I love that movie. I feel like I've never heard you mention that ever. You know, I've Yeah, never... it's like one I always forget about, but then I think about it and I'm like watching it. Got it. Yeah. I made you no one doing watch it, that, that thing you, you do. do. It's so catchy. I love Breaking it. Breaking my heart into <laughs> a million, million pieces. pieces. The what Wonders, are, The Oneaters. What are some like movies that you have not seen? Well, what's your Vecna movie? Back to the Future. Oh, that's right. Sorry. Yes. Um, I already forgot. Have you well, seen like, Forrest what Gump? have I seen? Have I did seen for, I just for the first time last year. Last year, yeah. okay. I watched it. I was a late bloomer on Forrest Gump. Yeah. I'd always seen clips of it, Same. and I knew the story, yeah, but I never I sat down to fully watch it. And... Have you seen The Shawshank Redemption? Yes. yes. Someone literally, I, I went so. to get tacos the other night, and I was wearing a shirt for a show called Below Deck, okay. and a guy who was working, <laughs> he was like, oh, I love your shirt, and I was like, oh, you, you watched the show? And he was like, yeah, I got Shawshanked into watching it, and then I didn't know that that was a way that you described like being forced to do stuff. Meaning what? Oh, I had oh, to the, Google the, it. The, the phrase Shawshank? Yeah. Or Shawshank people end up watching the movie because everyone's like, you gotta see Shawshank Redemption. No, I, I, I like Googled it and it meant, oh. it was like, sh they use it as a word to be like, oh yeah, I was like forced to watch this and then like, I liked it or whatever. Is that oh. the guy's name Shawshank in it? That's what I thought. No, it's the name of the prison, I think. Shawshank Isn't Prison. Isn't his name That's... like Red or something like that? Yeah. Oh, I thought the guy, who, no, that's M. Night Shyamalan, right? M. Night Shyamalan did not direct the Shawshank. He connection. didn't? No. Okay, maybe I'm just getting the names confused. I'm sorry, I haven't seen it. So I don't know. <laughs> oh, no. I just Googled Shawshank again, and the first thing that pops up is the act of ejaculating into a female's mouth. Oh, God. <laughs> and having her soul. I got semen. Shawshanked into <laughs> <laughs> Shawshanked Lord. into doing things. Yeah, it says to slowly and discreetly remove something as Tim Robbins removed the dirt and rocks as he. Oh. Excavated while digging a tunnel out of his cell. Okay, so it's like you're escaping. And it says being put into a position that you can't get out of either by yourself or others. What a, I don't think that that's like a common <laughs> I phrase. The, I think the guy said no, that I, used and then that he went on wrong. Yeah. Urban Dictionary. No, and there's crafted like that. multiple sources. Interesting. But yes, I've seen the movie. But you haven't. No. Have okay. you seen Goodfellas? No. Yes. Mm, not probably not in full. Oh my god! But I had definitely had it on DVD like Dude, as a kid. They're ladies, man. <laughs> it's too violent. I, oh, true. Okay. My poor eyes cannot yeah. handle. Do the you violence. guys not like violent no, or horror I do. movies? <laughs> I do. Yeah. I don't you mind. know what movies I loved in high school? The Bourne series. <laughs> Jason Bourne. Yeah. B Bourne Identity. Bourne Supremacy. Like I loved all of them. I've never like <gasps> finished them. Oh, they're oh, great. They're really good. I Matt Damon is such DVD a badass. <laughs> You have a DVD? We, you we, own a DVD not, player? No, not here. But like as we had so like hundreds and hundreds of DVDs like growing up. Oh wow. Yeah. That's really cool. I always envy people like that where you go to their house and their their dad Stacked. had like the Yeah. And it's no, just we had like, a, <sighs> like a our instead of a bookshelf full of books, it was DVDs. That's so cool. DVDs were so cool too because they always had like all this extra bonus yeah, footage. I know. And you can like watch the movie with like director's commentary and yep. like pop ups and featurettes. And I like, you get like three extra hours of content on a DVD. Remember yeah. the scenes? If you had to like fast forward, you have to go yes. to a scene. Yes, yes. And then remember if you were to fall asleep and then it would just play yes. oh, the yeah. main frame oh, over yeah. and over yeah. and over the again. Ring, the ring menu I, I remember oh. was terrifying. Oh, I feel like we were going to talk about the movie that really scared you, like your first oh, or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Did any Was anyone else really affected by the ring? I never yeah. saw it. But yes. I had been traumatized prior. That was it for me. But like the that was original, it, like that was the final draw. You mean it, one? it? It. I T. Oh, it, oh it, it, wait, the one from the eighties. Yeah. That was like a TV. The one. It was like a TV uh, movie. It. Movie. It's it's three like made for TV. It was a three episode, one hour special. Like each episode yeah, was one hour. That's the one I saw, and oh. then I was like, I'm scarred for life. Uh, I was literally you know Seth Mc, uh, not Seth MacFarlane. Seth Green is in that. He's yeah. one of the little kids. I don't yeah, remember. he's so little. Mm -hmm. I couldn't shower normally for like a year. <laughs> is that I the scene that really to, scared you? Yeah, I had to sleep. With, I had to shower with the curtain open. Oh, when all the pipes start going and, like, and then he yeah. comes yeah. right yeah, out yeah, yeah. of the mm -hmm. the the drain. Nope. 
it ruined Tim my life. Tim Curry. It's Tim Curry, though. He's, <laughs> he's great. I love Tim Curry. Oh, no. God bless his soul. God bless like, his soul. Like, I watched Halloween, the original Halloween, for the first time ever last. That oh. one's not that scary, right? <laughs> well, for me, I was like scared but you know my friend was like it's funny it's like an old movie that like there's not like really anything crazy that happens and i was like okay i get it yeah like watching it it was like a little (laughs) funny but at the same time it was still really scary for me yeah so i was like this is horrifying i hate horror movies me too i will never i never like watching that i will (sighs) never want to watch a horror movie i don't it's just like I don't need that negativity in my life. Yeah, but you, but you do like. <laughs> but you do need that negativity. Well, I got him to watch Hereditary. Yes. Oh. I got shit. Shawshank into watching Hereditary. <laughs> Hereditary. <laughs> it, did you enjoy? I Hereditary? did enjoy it, but it was like it was like after a night of drinking at like oh. two in the morning, oh and God. I was like about to go home. And Matt put it on, and I was like, "All right, I'll watch five minutes." And it's it is a, such a good movie that I just sat there, yeah. and I ended up watching until like four thirty in the morning. Whoa. And then I went home, and I was like, "All right, I'm glad I watched it, but like, no, I, I couldn't. I, I would never decide for myself. Let me put on. Yeah. Sure, it's Wednesday night. Let me let me just watch the worst thing I've ever seen in my life for two and a half hours. Like, so what was the movie then that really messed with you? I, know, I don't have one because like oh. growing up, I would hear stories like this yeah. about The Ring or like some other signs. Oh my God, yeah, and oh. I would just refuse to watch them. You know, I saw some posts that like <clears throat> some like good little Christian moms that I know on Facebook. <laughs> they're kind of like new mom. They're girls I went to high school with, but they're like you know women of faith. And they shared this <laughs> interesting <laughs> post. <laughs> women of faith. That just sounds like a noble yeah. way of saying it. Women um, of faith. Women of faith. Nothing wrong with that. Like they, are, are, they're decent people. But they posted this thing about like exposing your kids to scary things and how it's like like they sh- you sh- we to be. To not show your kids scary things. And I'm like, okay, yes. Like, they shouldn't be watching some things because they're a child and it's too scary. But when is it okay for kids, if they want to watch something scary, if they want to watch Goosebumps, should you let the kid watch Goosebumps? I think it depends on if you want to have to deal with the consequences of that. Yeah, like because if you want to like have to stay up with them all night, if you want to have to like be the one that's gonna cuddle them and be like the boogeyman isn't under your bed, like it then, like I literally think parents don't want their kids to do that kind of thing because they're the one who have to deal with the consequences. Yeah, I guess I I don't know because I don't have kids. Yeah, and I get. I think part of me I'm like okay, yeah, there's a time and a place, but I feel like if there's scary kid things that. If your kid's interested sure. in it, I yeah, watch Goosebumps all the time. I read Goosebumps. Yeah, but that's so made weird. for kids. You're not like, you know, if it's made for kids, I think that that makes a little bit more sense. But if you're going to put on like, I don't Scream. know, Saw. <laughs> yes. Oh, that Saw. movie <laughs> fucked me up. <laughs> oh. I saw that in theaters not knowing what it was going to be. And movies. I was like 14, whatever. And I, I, I was like, that is, I never want to do horrifying. anything like that ever again. I think about Saw like once a week. Are you serious? Because <laughs> so I'm terrified I'm going to wake up in a room oh, and they're going to yeah. be like, do you want to play a game? And I just got to start thinking fast. I and hate making... that I have that movie in my brain. Like, I yeah. wish if I can get Men in Black, like erase that movie from my memory. Damn, I would do it. you really hate scary. Oh my God. They're it's... so bad. Yeah, you Are always you... like think back to stuff. That's obviously fictional, but it stems from somewhere and it's not impossible and there are psychopaths in the world. Yeah. And are just, you okay right now talking about it though? Uh, can we move on? <laughs> He's like rocking back My scary movie though was uh, Dawn of the Dead. Um, Shaun of the Dead. Not Shaun of the Dead. No, I know, I know. <laughs> Dawn of the Dead. It was like the first time like, zombies were like running fast. Uh, oh. <laughs> so like it wasn't like, uh, no, they yeah, were running yeah, like yeah. rabid Printing. animals. Uh. And I get that that scene where they take over like the suburb in the beginning, like he wakes up and his like uh, the woman wakes up and her husband is just like trying to eat her and she is wa- running through the suburb and ev- it, it's just the last day on earth. I don't think any of us have seen it. Yeah. Oh <laughs> gosh, that scene is terrifying. It sounds horrifying. I had yeah. to call my dad to pick me up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was t- couldn't sleep like from the movie from the movie. Oh, a friend's house. Oh, oh, oh. oh that's mm. the night that you guys saw on the calendar. <laughs> Right? That Dawn of the Dead. Oh, Dawn of the Dead. I, I think we that was a DVD. Oh. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Oh, too scary. It was. Remember, we used to watch like movies in class. Like your teacher would make you like if they didn't want to teach that day. I always yeah. seem like they're hungover oh, yeah. or something. Yeah. And they bring in a movie and it's like it's an educational movie, but it's just like a regular movie. I feel like I've seen a few movies that are actually really good, but because I watched them in a classroom <laughs> setting, 
I like feel like they're homework and I like can't wrote them off. Yeah. Like I like Bill and Ted, uh, the first Bill and Ted Excellent adventure, whatever. Yeah. Bill and Ted's excellent adventure, which is a great classic movie, but I watched it in like an eighth grade history class and it felt like homework. And now whenever it comes on, I like get this weird feeling of like, Oh, that's like a school movie. (laughs) And I like, I like don't want to watch it. Like, do you guys have that experience where movies that you've seen in school are like, I don't really remember, but there is one in particular because I never really understood why we watched it. It it was What About Bob? What is that? I couldn't even <laughs> tell you what it's about, but I had my science teacher for Intro to Physical Science one day. It was like, this is my favorite movie. We're going to watch it, and this is how it relates to physical science. And he put it on, and I was like, I don't understand why this relates okay. at the time. But like, maybe if I watched it now, I'd be like, oh, he's doing math, but I don't remember. But I, that is the one movie that sticks in my brain. Of, like if you like, saw it now, you school. would be like, what? I don't. Yeah. Yeah. I could, I could not even tell you what maybe the Maybe we should is. watch it and then yeah. figure out why. My physics teacher also one time put on rent for a week. <gasps> Oh, I mean, because you only have 40 oh, minutes. Yeah. And you have yeah. to, so she would like intro it, outro it. It's like, like, I, like, I yeah. forget. Regret. It was the oh, most bizarre. What bizarre. class was this? Physics. It was a physics class. What? And she was like, they I just want to show you guys day. this movie. It, like, it, like, I think it like yeah. had just come out on video. It's like kind of um, risque, too. Yeah, it was. I mean, it was very it was bizarre. It's all about like, what yeah. What grade were you in? What? What grade was it's this? It's like junior year of high school. And okay, it like, so it was when you were in public school. Yes, this okay, is okay, the public okay. school. Yeah, right, right, yes. so I was like, oh my um, God. But it also took like a week to get through because it was like a 35 minute class. So you just have to watch like yeah. 30 minutes at a time. Oh, that was always the worst. And we were all just yeah. like, why are we watching Rent in physics, junior physics? Like we're taking our AP <laughs> test soon. And I mean, I hated it because I don't like musicals at all. It was just like, so I, I'm not a big musicals guy. I get the, I get the show five hundred twenty five that whatever yeah. that song is, but <laughs> maybe that was like yeah. what the math the math <laughs> of it or like how yeah. how much paper you have to burn to keep warm in like a New York City. Yeah. Just so it was just so bizarre. But yeah, I feel like some teachers they were just like they were just I, I'm not feeling it this week. Yeah, let me just put on something that's like a comfort movie for me. Like that was what about Bob? For... Yeah, like if I was a science teacher, I'd put on like Back to the Future. And be like, let's talk about time travel. Totally. But... I yeah. gotta like look up what what about Bob is about. Is John Cusack in that? I don't no. know. I was like, is there a comedian in it? I feel like yes, there is. It's um what Billy something. What about Bob? Uh, the Ghostbusters guy. What's his name? Bill, Bill Murray. Murray. Bill Murray. Okay, yeah. that's what I was picturing. Richard Dreyfus. Oh my god, he looks Richard Dreyfus. He looks terrible. <laughs> yeah. Is that um? See the guy from Seinfeld? No, Richard that's Dreyfus? Julia Louis Dreyfus. That's oh. her husband. And they're not related. They're no, not? no. They're Wait, she married to? Who she's plays? married to that SNL guy, right? <clears throat> I don't huh? think she's married to someone famous. Who plays? Yeah, what she is. Julia Louis Dreyfus. Yeah. No, she's married to like just some regular guy. Yeah, but he like is a writer or something. He might be. I don't know. On like SNL. Possibly. I don't know. Let's talk about renting movies. Uh, do uh, we want to? Or yeah, yeah. I mean, I think that's funny. Okay. Well, I'm rewind. Like, I feel like half of our audience probably has no idea what that's even like. We lived in a different time where you would go to a video store, blockbuster. The only way you could watch a movie was to See? go to this video store. He is famous. Who? Julia Louis. What's his name? Brad Hall. He's best known as a Weekend Update news anchor on SNL. Whoa. He was an info oh. creating the sitcoms The Single Guy and Watching Ellie. Oh, wow. He's an actor, comedian, director, producer, and screenwriter. Oh, no. What happened? I never ordered my lunch. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're going to have to eat some of ours then. <laughs> you want to order- you want, I'll just get my card and I'll go to McDonald's really, really fast. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> um, really, really fast. <laughs> you were asking about renting movies. Let's, let's talk about oh, this. Yeah. Until probably... Okay, well, even when Netflix came out, it was not a streaming service at first for like the first five years. Yeah, yeah. Which a lot of people don't know. Um, But Matt, explain or uh, you guys, can you explain what it was like in like 1999 if you wanted to, if you wanted to see a movie, how did you see a movie? You went to Blockbuster and if you didn't go to Blockbuster, um, sometimes at grocery stores in the back, there would be another video rental place. And there were some other competitors. Well, no, I just had like a mom and pop. Like my video store is called Video Paradise. <laughs> Love video it. Paradise. So it was and like it was cheaper than Blockbuster. It was like better. It's like when you watch like Stranger Things. It's like those mo- that movie store they work at. It's very like that vibe. To rent a movie though, right? Yep. Yeah. And then my question for Matt is how old were you when you tried sneaking into the X-rated section? <gasps> <gasps> Ours didn't have an X-rated <gasps> section. Really? Uh, we had literally in at Video Paradise. They had like the curtain. <laughs> That you would like they literally said, go Welcome through. to the real paradise. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh gosh. There was 
a cart like straight up pornography. Yeah, like, there was some like little uh, Skinamax <laughs> kind of films. Well, I'm like, sure like, it was like that. Bars, I mean, I didn't go in it, obviously. But yeah, <laughs> Hollywood Video had that. Did you ever have Hollywood Video or Family yes. Video? Yes, oh. we had those. Uh, we had Family Video, and then Hollywood Video was at the mall. Okay, mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure one of those had the X-rated section. I remember, Ooh. but it was so crazy. The only way you could watch a movie yep. that came out would be to go to one of these stores, and if it was a pop and movie, you wouldn't be able to see oh, it yeah. for so long because it, it would be on like be rented. Yep. You'd go to the spot where it should be, and then there'd just be like a card there. Yeah, the, that's yes, like not the available. box is empty. Yeah. Yep. Have you seen the a documentary about the last blockbuster? No, that's no. really so good. good should we it's go? Really cute. That's. I think it's also in Oregon. It is. Yeah. Well, that's in Alaska. We got it. It's no, literally no. just this like mom and pop like family that owns it, and it's like the drama like within their family. We and, should go to yeah. places that were blockbusters that they have turned into something else. There is one in North Hollywood that we Unleashed. drive by all the time. Yes, yes. Unleashed, yes. Well, yes. Cause Carly, for the, was I, used to I with you? And I go, that used to be a blockbuster. And you're like, no, it wasn't. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I don't think so. It, look at the sign. It's a tilted yeah. like, movie ticket that had to have been a blockbuster. Oh my God. Yeah, they the one in my town, they turned it into a like brand new restaurant within the last like two years. Wow. It's Did so they take weird. down the like... Uh, yeah. uh, I know. Awkward. It's wild tilted. though, like at a blockbuster that before... I had like a Nintendo 64, you could rent the Nintendo 64, oh, yeah. the console. Yeah. And it came in that big black, oh. like padded uh-huh. box. And you would take that in a video game. I can't, I always wonder how much my parents were like spending on. Yeah. How much were so those expensive. memberships? Do we know? For Blockbuster, it was probably like 20 bucks a month. And then you'd pay like, I think five bucks to rent a movie, maybe. Do you have a membership and pay to rent it? I think so. Yeah. I think. I don't remember. I, I, think it was two, I thought it, it was two or three bucks a rental, right? Yeah, but it definitely got more expensive as yeah. time went on. It's like when you used to go to the movies and it was like $3 and then yeah. now it's like 25 And I remember one time, maybe more than once, like there would be a pop and movie that would come out and then Blockbuster would have like some shitty B version of that movie that they would like trick you into renting. <laughs> oh. So like, I mean, this is not a good example, but like a new 007 movie would come out. And they would have a movie called like 006. And oh like my, my dad like my dad rented something one time and like we thought it was gonna be like Jason Bourne and it was like Jason Bomb. And it was just like <laughs> this is like this is, a, this is a sketch on the Amanda show called yes. Block Blister. Like they go, <laughs> they go, I thought I was running Austin Powers. They go, yes. Austin Powers, you rented Austin Flowers. Yeah, dude, that was a real thing that would happen is they would like they put it, it from that. Yeah, yeah. like th- it, you would just get tricked and you put on this movie and it's like where is Matt Damon? Where, what's oh, going on? This no. is not the right movie. Um, so that happened more than once. But Who yeah. was doing that? You or your dad? <laughs> well, was, that was like, it used to be like a weekly ritual. It's like you would go with yeah. your dad or with your mom on like Thursday or Friday, yeah. pick the movie that you're going to watch for the weekend and then yeah. return it on Sunday. But one time, I guess he went by himself and he just got the wrong. He got duped. Here you go, buddy. Like, remember Damn. Razor Scooters? Yeah. yeah. Okay. My grandpa got me a laser scooter. Oh, <laughs> what? Shit. Are you living in an alternate reality? Oh, <laughs> no, they're in like, back in the day, it's like, there's Jersey things. They, yeah. they would just like, you know, it's the off brand one. And if you're, you don't know what it is, it's oh like, you don't know god. the cool thing. Oh my god, that's really funny. Um, I remember when my, it was like my best friend growing up. She is the first person I knew who started getting the Netflix DVDs sent to their house. Oh, right. And so it would be like the place we would watch everything. And then we'd like pick out what ones they were going to be. They would literally physically mail you just a it was CD in a, a piece of paper. Paper envelope. Yeah. yeah. yeah crazy. I, I can picture it still. So if you don't know, Netflix used to be a place where you could just like request a like delivery basically of yep. a movie and then you'd have to send it back. I think they still do that too. They if do. You want. They really? Do. Yep. 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 It's part of your membership. You yeah. can get DVDs. But because if it's not on Netflix and you're like, I still want to watch it, you're you're still paying for it, so you can just like ask what? and send it to Wait, you. Yeah. Ones that for free? Aren't on These, I think it's uh-huh. part of a regular yeah. Netflix account. They'll mail you like up to. Th- I think you can have three at a time, and then as you send them back, they'll send you more. So they have <laughs> they have movies that aren't on. Netflix. Yeah. So you ever like search for a movie on Netflix and like yeah. they don't have it, but they give you the all the ones that are similar. Yeah. But they'll say we do have this title mm-hmm. on DVD. Oh. I mean, I've seen that a couple times. I'm like, why would I ever do, do this? They have like a lot of like niche weird movies. Yeah, yeah. Probably. They have everything. Yeah, like Japanese. To look into. Probably there's also like Criterion Collection. You can get DVD rentals. You're, and... you're joking. No, this, <laughs> this is already included with my Netflix membership. I'm like 99 sure. Yeah. 
Well, we used to do because we were <laughs> nerds. Like when, because we had DVD burners. So when we yes. first got our Netflix oh subscription, so we, we would get three DVDs, burn them the same day, return them, and just built an entire library of like ripped Smart. DVDs. Damn. Oh yeah. And then you were Smart. like trading them with your friends, and it was just like Netflix was a godsend because you get, you need to pay so much money to rent a movie uh, one time. Yeah. And then it's like if you wanted to watch it again, you need to rent it again, wait. Mm -hmm. But once DVDs came out, and that was the big thing too, is you didn't need to rewind DVDs. Yeah. I remember seeing a commercial, and they're like, "What?" Do is dvd it's similar to vhs but you don't need to rewind it and we were like <gasps> and it's a cd yeah i remember really cool. my dad came back from a business trip and he had uh uh harry potter on dvd it was in theaters but we had it on dvd and it was like a bootleg oh, oh, God. version but it had chinese <laughs> subtitles but it was harry potter Hell Damn. Yeah. yeah okay king yeah literal king <laughs> what do you guys remember red box yeah oh, it still, yeah. still exists okay. it's yeah. still there yeah that's so funny i remember oh when they God. put one in our town it was like where video paradise was it was like a few doors down after video paradise Act. And I was like, I guess I'll go to Redbox. Yeah, if you don't know, Redbox is basically a vending machine yeah. for movies. So you'd put in your card, and then you'd pick a movie, and it would dispense it, and you have to return it in like five days or something. But who is a DVD player? This is now I'm getting yeah. disappointed. I realize I don't own yes, a DVD. Yes, you do. You have a PS4 or a PS5. Any, oh, yeah, any, all those like video game mm -hmm. consoles are, oh. are DVD players. And they're Blu-ray, too. used to be computer, too. but now our computers don't come with the CD-ROM. Oh, yeah. God. What was the I, I do you remember the first movie you ever ordered off of Netflix to come to your house? I never I did didn't it. have that. Oh, I did. You, I, what did you get? The Secret. The Secret? <laughs> the <laughs> the, the Law of Attraction? Yeah, movie? the Law of Attraction. Because Because I was so interested in it because I kept seeing like the book and I was like, there's a movie version, but you couldn't get it anywhere. Like yeah. a blockbuster. No, it's just funny because I'm imagining this... you as a kid doing it. That's why yeah. I was laughing. And I was just so obsessed about The Secret. I, I've seen it, but that's really funny. That was your first one. Which one? Did you do that too? I don't remember what the first Netflix movie I had was. We had a whole, we had like a hundred Q list that we were just. Oh my, oh my God. God. It was like a factory. It was crazy. It was like in and out. Just. Be doing illegal things yeah. yeah now i just rent movies on youtube that's my favorite way to watch yeah. movies because they have everything and it's like three bucks and then you can watch whatever you want yeah we do that too and we just use matt's credit card information that's been in there for years <laughs> are you serious no it's, oh. every time i go to rent it though your thing pops up still because you like did it one time years ago at your house yeah it was at our apartment Oh, what movie was it? I don't remember. What we'd have to go back what? and look. Oh, was it old, Ruby Sp apartment? I yeah. think it was Ruby Sparks. Oh my god, maybe that's such a good movie. Because I remember watching Ruby Sparks and I was over with you. What well, didn't your mom was it your mom's account attached to somebody's too? To where? David uh <laughs> David. Oh, Dobricks. and that's like a lawless living room. So yeah. like people yeah, are probably just he doing was it. renting stuff all the time, but my mom was like, Okay, I'm charging you. I think my mom <laughs> yeah. may have turned out a profit out of it. <laughs> um but they finally ended just that. requesting every day. That's really funny. Yeah, that's what can get hairy. It's like, oh, shit, I logged in at an Airbnb. And it's, like... it's really crazy how hard it is to find movies, given the amount of streaming services that there are. Because it's like you pay for the service, whether it's Netflix, Hulu, whatever. I personally have every single thing. I do, like, share accounts with a lot of people, though. So it's like we're not paying for everything. Can you share this? What, which one do you not have? I would love a Showtime and a Stars and a Showtime and a Stars account. Uh, those are the ones... I always want access to. But... I have a Showtime account I can give you. Perfect. There we go. Great. I have them all too. Yeah. Like, and it's insane that you just, you want to watch a movie, it's just not there. No. And if it is, you have to buy it. Yeah. And yeah. Some and of them like are like $3 and then some of them are $20. Like in theater releases. No, no, no. no. Just like a movie that you want to yeah. when, see. Before our wedding, every night before our wedding, we did like the 30 days of wedding movies. So like each night we would watch a wedding themed movie. Cute. Oh, really that's cute. Nice. But like movies that were like 20 years old you had to pay like 20 bucks to watch to rent yeah because you can crazy. only buy it you couldn't rent it yeah i'm it, always uh, wondering who is deciding like this movie's leaving netflix in 30 days why i know, I know. Where, where, what what Even what the is shows. The, like yeah what are these contract negotiations yeah. where like keep it on it's like, going to and leaving netflix like especially know, really so good shows yeah. yeah shows movies like move to hbo or paramount plus or whatever it is yeah it's show business <laughs> it's, show biz, baby. it's business baby All right, that's fair that's, that's show biz because if you think about it like when peacock was formed that's yep. when the office left, left netflix, netflix yeah. yeah they were like owned by oh, it's on uh, peacock now yeah i felt like such an idiot though i bought all the studio uh gilby films oh yeah i bought the entire pack on apple tv for like 120 dollars 
and then they all came for free, like on HBO, like oh. two weeks later. Oh that's no! Oh, that's that's the worst. Is when you like buy something. What's Studio Ghibli. Um, isn't it Ghibli or Ghibli? Oh, shit, did I say it wrong? I think it's Studio Ghibli. Ghibli. I think it's G I B L Y. I actually think it's Glibby. <laughs> what is it? It's the it's like, like the Spirited Japanese. Away, Howl's Moving oh. Castle, like anime anime movies, right? Did I get oh. that wrong? Are they are they anime or they're just like Japanese films? Are they considered anime? Yes, in a way, but like, or is anime just for TV shows? Oh, I would say they're animated films in an anime style. Mm. Anime, yeah. Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should we go to fan submissions? Yeah, we totally can. Did you guys acknowledge my shirt at all? Like, I, I, I dressed up it. on theme today. It's uh, the Cannes uh, Film Festival 1991 That's t shirt. Oh, cute. Uh, yeah, it is. I did then, it, but I, I like your, I noticed your hat, and I love your hat. Laura oh, yeah, Dern. Laura Dern hat. Yeah, Laura yeah. Dern for your consideration. <laughs> I don't know. I'm so sorry I didn't notice your shirt. <laughs> I just thought it'd be a bit cinematic. No, it's I, cute. I, I like that. When you were walking, I was like, cool shirt, but I honestly didn't read it. I just saw the color, and I was like, That's nice. Yeah, very 90s shirt. I Thank wish I you. said it out loud okay. to give you that um, just validation. recognition and validation. 45 degree angle. <laughs> it's I know, I just feel like I'm, I'm like just this. so slouched. It feels sit, very so sit small. Sit up and then turn the mic. Just put the, do this. I'll give you a little tutorial. See, that feels so far away from me. No, we'll do that. And then lift and then it up. And pull it up a little. <laughs> I feel like as long as this part's by your mouth. Do there, we need to yeah, address? Yeah. How great. come you decided to sit next to me? I just thought it'd be fun to switch it up. I was about me height. and Carly looked so like. <laughs> yeah. Do you feel yourself like going to her height? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I don't know. I felt like I was kind of. Not because we're more similar that you in height, me, so. it's fine. <laughs> no, I don't know. I just want to see if it, how it looked on camera. If maybe it just changed up the dynamic. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. We'll see in the edit. Okay. Well, we can get into uh, listener <laughs> cues, P's, cues, whatever. Okay. Hello. Literally best podcast ever. Thank Thanks. you. Absolutely adore you guys. You're my favorite. It's just a compliment. It's not even a question. <laughs> um, you're my faves ever, ever, ever. My movie opinion is that The Lion King is overrated. Criminally overrated. What? Like, it's the most famous Disney movie that I've experienced, and it truly isn't even that good. Maybe I've just seen it too many times growing up, but I do not like it any bit. Anyway, I hope that that's n not too controversial. Oops. Anyway, love you guys. Have so much fun. Have a good week. I do think it's controversial. That is a hot take. Yeah. The Lion King is my favorite Disney movie. It's the first, I think it's the first movie I ever saw. It, and I saw it in theaters yeah. too. It was, a, I, cry, I was like five years old and I remember crying <laughs> in the theater. Yeah. My grandma took me, I think it was the first movie I ever saw in theaters. It's a masterpiece. Yeah. This person is wrong. The soundtrack? Yeah. I like it for what it is. Like the connection as a memory, watching it so many times as a, as a child. But to be honest, I never really like made it through The Lion King in one sitting. Oh my god. That's a movie. Dude, as a kid, you turn that on, like you fall asleep halfway through. Mm, I you know really what? disagree. That's like the, the land before time. I always remember falling asleep oh during my god, those you movies. Keep naming all my favorites. <laughs> those are like those are like nap time movies where it's like, all right, let's put on the <laughs> no, Lion King. Land before time one hundred percent. That's all I, I can think of is like being sleepy. Time. It's just sad and just like yeah. I don't know. After the bug, the bug scene's delicious. <laughs> And then like the everything Hakuna else, Matata Akuna Matata, that's great. Everything else, I'm like, eh. I don't know. I think you get it all. You get, you get the yes. ro the romance. You get the horror. You get the Death. camaraderie. You get, you get it all. Yes, it's Isn't a it well rounded movie. The Lion King is Hamlet. <laughs> Can't it just be the Lion King? <laughs> Wait, what do you mean it's Hamlet? Like the, the, the storyline <laughs> is based on Hamlet. He's avenging the death of his father. Oh, I've never seen Hamlet or anything. Okay. So I don't know the plot. Sorry. To be or and not like Rosencrantz and Gildestern are like Timon and Pumbaa. Okay. <laughs> Wait, uh, what's everyone's at, favorite Disney movie? Of the all Lion time? King. The Lion King. Yeah, of all time. Like in the, like, the 90s. Uh, a goofy movie. Oh, okay. That's my friend Sarah. Yeah, She's like yeah. a Disney That's a good one. That's, that's what her I, favorite. I always forget about that one. Yeah, stand out above the ground. <laughs> goofy just like really bothers me. <laughs> So it's hard to watch. Like his voice or just his whole... Because he's just like so dumb. Like I'm like, stop <laughs> doing that. Just be normal. But he has I don't a good heart. He anything. does have a good heart. But he's he's goofy, you know? Yeah, he's goofy. What's your favorite Disney movie? Uh, Probably Toy Story. Like that yeah, series. Yeah, Those are incredible. Um, 
But I didn't, I don't like. I feel like we had this conversation. You didn't really see any, right? Yeah, not oh, the Disney yeah. Channel originals. Those I haven't seen any of them. Mm. But like the ones that were on TV. Yeah, never seen it like any of those. Matt. Well, good thing Disney Plus exists and you can go do a rewatch. <sighs> are they, are Disney Channel originals on? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Can we watch Full Court Miracle yes, together? Sure. Like, yeah. I would the like Jewish to also one? be present. <laughs> that would be, that would be so fun yeah. to like watch it yes. and like react and talk about it. You'll see Mike's reaction. I'm, I'm, it's, there's very rarely Jewish movies that are not about the Holocaust. So anytime there is a Jewish movie, I'm <laughs> I'm game to watch it. Um, I has anyone recently like rewatched any Disney Channel originals? Um, or like when Disney Plus came out? Did you I like, watched, go back? I watched Xenon like oh, two no. days ago. Somebody was on TikTok Live and was just like streaming the whole thing, <laughs> so I popped like in for a little bit. It still holds up. What's just weird is that I used to have the biggest crush on Xenon, uh-huh. and now it's weird. I'm like a 30 year old man, and yeah. I'm like, I used to really like her. And then you're like, why am I watching this? Well, like, she's probably like 30 in the movie if you think about it. I bet Kirsten's she was between like she was probably that's like a fifteen or sixteen year old girl in the movie. You think? I feel like they always cast higher than the age they actually yeah, that's are. True. Who was the actress? Was it Kirsten Storms? Oh, oh yeah, that's oh my so God. familiar. Now that I hear that, I'm Kirsten Storms. Yeah, uh, I watched um Johnny Tsunami. It's just like so funny. I think it's just with age too. Like the movies aren't bad. They're just like oh my god. You like, just remember them being so good. Yeah. Do you think we could get Kirsten Storms on? <laughs> I don't know. We what can is find she up out. to right now? Probably just being a mom and she's on Days of Our Lives and doing so Oh my God, that's right. Yeah. That's not. Oh, she was just I, like a staple. She's someone who I don't know how I would like. I think I, I could be very cool, but I would honestly <laughs> feel so fulfilled like with my life that like I met her. Like well, my childhood <laughs> self would be like, wow. <laughs> well, I'm going to get like Matthew Broderick yeah. on because he was my crush as... um. <laughs> As the Lion King himself, Simba. Um, so that's Matthew, Matthew Broderick, Broderick is Simba? Simba. I'm pretty positive. Yeah, it's like Jonathan oh, Taylor Jonathan Thomas T- yeah, Jonathan is Taylor. baby, and then I'm all, pretty baby. sure Matthew Broderick is the old Whoa. Simba. We could, may need to fact check, but I'm almost positive. And is it Nathan Lane and Billy Crystal or Timon and Pumbaa? I, I think so. Believe Billy Crystal. I'm. Yeah, I know Nathan yeah, yeah, Lane. Yeah. I do yeah. know is in that movie too. No, no. Yeah. Who's no? Who's Pumba? Who's Pumba? <laughs> I'm just know. doing the movie right Timon, now. <laughs> well, Timon, it's Nathan Lane. Like blah blah. But I'm thinking of oh, it's me. It's Pumba. I don't recognize that voice. Is it John Goodman? No. I think it might no, be Billy Crystal. I don't think it's John Goodman. Have you seen Ferris Bueller's Day Off? Yes. Okay. When I was a young boy. You just keep thinking of one. Just movies that when you may not have seen. Because I also young... missed out on a lot of movies growing mm, up too. Lion but... King. Let me get the names just so we can move Timon past and this. Pumba. James Earl Jones. Um, Scar, yeah, Matthew Broderick, Simba. Wow. Oh, Zazu. Oh, Zazu is Rowan Atkinson. Nathan Lane is Timon. Right. Who's Pumba? Ernie Sabella. <laughs> Pumba. Wait, know. really? Yeah. So I don't know who that is. Well, well, this was interesting. No. Um, I liked also the uh, the genie movie with Robin Williams. Aladdin. Aladdin. Yeah. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck, Mike? <laughs> First of all, the. <laughs> You refer to Aladdin as the genie movie. That's like what I imagine. It's that's like the whole movie is the oh, blue boy. Robin Williams losing his mind for an hour and a half on screen. <laughs> the genie, I never saw that the, one. The, the, the true genie you never saw movie Aladdin? is Kazam with Shaquille yes. O'Neal. Yeah. Oh my god! And he had the cool pants. Uh huh. Oh wait, yeah, I've seen the car. Is that you talking about the cartoon? Yeah, the cartoon with Robin Williams and. Oh, uh, then yeah, I think I've seen it. I don't know. I saw as a kid, and like I don't remember him now. But oh, he's I know like, I saw them. Oh it's God. like a Robin Williams stand-up set, like wrapped around like this story about a kid. Do you oh. remember so Flubber? Yeah. 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 Oh my God, Robin Williams. I had a. <laughs> my dad, he used to like install home theaters, and he would work in movie theaters That's and sick. do like the stuff there. So when they would be switching the like posters and stuff that were in the movies, he would like take some home. And one of them was a cardboard cutout of Robin Williams in Flubber. (laughs) And we had it like hanging in our basement. (laughs) I love that. Yeah. That's really cool. That is really cool. She kept that. I want, they just moved, but like they were literally still in our basement. We had like a giant, giant (laughs) Pirates of the Caribbean one. I had, when I was a kid, I had, um, (laughs) it's like so Fern Gully. I had like a, a giant poster of Fern Gully in my bedroom. Whoa. And then we would just like interchange them. They were like the vinyl ones too. Oh, wow. Damn, it was that's very nice. cool. It was like a cool perk of his job. Fern Gully. Fern <laughs> Gully. A, Scary. A that is a horrifying movie. But then it went, 
Yeah. Oh, stop. No, it's you know so what I'm talking scary about? The just, uh, yeah, the tar just going through like. <laughs> <laughs> That's sounds. how it sounds. You'd be like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> truly. Okay. So while we're speaking of Disney, someone said, who is your favorite Disney princess and why? Mulan. Oh yeah. Carly. Did. Cause that was my favorite Disney movie of all time, but I don't think she's technically a princess, but she's always included. No, in I'm the pretty princesses. sure she is a, technically a princess. But her dad isn't a king or anything. She's yeah. an honorary princess. Yeah. yeah. Like she gets like, she deserves it. She literally fought in war. So yeah. Queen. Oh, Disney princess. Yeah. Who's the hottest? <laughs> sure. She's like Sydney Sweeney. <laughs> Rapunzel. <laughs> I was never really like a princess girly, so. I don't know if I could even name like five Disney princesses. Try. Ariel or yeah. Ariel from uh-huh. The Little Mermaid. Yep. Fiona from Shrek. Is that a Disney? <laughs> No, that's DreamWorks, no. dude. Oh, okay, so not her. Uh, I would have said that too, probably, honestly. <laughs> Fiona from Shrek. Uh, uh, Jasmine from Aladdin. Yeah, good job. Um, Think of is, all the blondes. This is not, yeah. No one <laughs> is like, listening to this going yeah, to be I like, don't know, I can't. Cinderella. <laughs> Come on, oh, next... Cinderella. <laughs> oh, oh. I'm, I'm... I like uh, my favorite Disney princess is... Um, Hillary Duff in a Cinderella story. Oh, there you go. Does that, Does that count? count? No. <laughs> um. I like the remakes more than I like the originals. Again, they were all just too scary because they'd all have, have like evil witches. Right, like Snow White has the scary witch. Yeah. Whereas like, it was, I think for a child, it was more believable that there was a scary lion. And I was like, that'll never be my, my life. Right. Moana. <laughs> She's not a Disney princess. She's yeah, not? she is. No. What what are you talking about? I think like Moana isn't a Disney princess. I don't think that she is technically. Just like Anna, 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 and Elsa technically aren't Disney princesses either. Because what I they're not they like of now, royal though, lineage. I no, I always see them like la- <laughs> no. Target, it's like, like in, it, 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 Sarah was just explaining it to me because we wanted to Disney bound as them. She's like, well, technically they're not prin- Disney princesses, and I was like, oh. okay, but they are because they're not in a royal family. No, because they have like their own like sphere. Of whatever. Of what it a is. Disney princess I don't know. Disney is. Disney is complicated. By 2019, Moana was officially <laughs> inducted into the okay. Disney princess lineup, becoming the 12th member. 12th. The 12th. Yeah. I know. Exactly. She's part of the gang. <laughs> okay, I, Disney princesses have been, what, around since, like, I don't know, the 60s? I, I don't think know why I'm getting angry. <laughs> I'm literally like, okay, great. So, so in, you figure, you know, yeah. enough years have gone by and enough these. Sure. Moana is part of it. Only twelve sounds low, though. For like, what if, there you're, are. if we're considering know, Snow White and Cinderella, these movies that came out in, like nineteen thirty, like yeah, that's one per decade. Yeah, so exactly. So many. Moana was significant. Okay, they're picky about their princesses. I What's know. the ice? Oh, the ice girl, Elsa. Oh my god, Elsa. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not a. Okay, well, let's move on. <laughs> ice girl. Oh my god. <laughs> Fun fact, though, that I'm very excited about: High School Musical, the musical, the series. The theme <laughs> of. <laughs> Do you just have a stroke? <laughs> No, no. That, that's what it's called. <laughs> what? High School Musical, the musical, the series. Yes. yes. Do you not know what we're talking about? No, but continue. You know the show with that Olivia Rodrigo got popular on? High School Musical. Bizarre Park. <laughs> it's called High School Musical, the musical, the series. So it's a high it's... school where High School Musical was filmed. Like they are the the theater kids who go to that high school where High School Musical was originated. So their high school play that year is High School Musical. So it's High School Musical, the musical, and it's a series, not the movie. It's, pr- it's actually... <laughs> <laughs> that is, like, it's pretty good. It's yeah. shot like The Office. No, we love it. And yeah. I mean, they have to have named it knowing that this is like a topic of conversation. It's right? supposed like, to be meta. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, 100%. They're not like, trying to get away with, with like... But okay. so the new series, this new season came out last night and we watched the new episode and the they're doing like summer camp edition. So they're not actually in school this season. And the musical they're doing is Frozen. So I am very excited. It's my like new, like, you know, 2000s favorite Disney movie is Frozen. And Corbin Blue made a cameo, which is really cool. I think he's going to like be in the series. And Jackson from Hannah Montana is in <gasps> it. Oh, my God. Jackson oh, the brother? Yeah. yeah. Whoa! He's like the camp counselor, like the head of the camp. Does he look the same? 
Yeah, but he's like old. <laughs> Wasn't he already like thirty something yeah. when he was playing yeah. her, her brother? And at the time, we were like, "What?" Because he's playing like a eighteen year old. Yeah, mm-hmm. the guy who played Ferris Bueller's best friend in that movie, Alan Rock. Yeah, he was thirty in that movie. I saw oh, him. That makes me feel so good. Isn't I that know. crazy? Is he the guy from um, Succession? Yes. yes. I saw him. I was standing in line with him getting uh, my prescription. Where at over <laughs> at Rite Aid? Yeah, in wow. I saw him. At, I saw him at Ralph's one time in the, next to the Cheez Its. Wow. This guy's doing like his own grocery shopping no. and his own yes. pharmacy no, pickups. He, and he was so nice to them too. They like knew who he was, and I was like, like we were standing like this far apart, both at our individual thing, talking to the pharmacist, our individual yeah. pharmacists, and he was like, "Oh, how have you been?" And the I remember the conversation perfectly. The woman was like, "Oh, I was just really sick." Blah, blah, blah. And he's like, oh, well, I'm glad you're feeling better. Like, so good to see you. And I was wow, like, Wow, like a neighborhood guy. Damn. Yeah. I don't know. You think someone like that has like an assistant getting there. I know. And he's like a full dad. He just looked like a totally normal guy. Yeah. Like full dad bod. I think he was wearing like an Aviator Nation hoodie. He used to live on my street, but I didn't know which house was his. Well, well, well he was 30 years old and playing a high school kid. So makes see, me feel I great to do it. Yeah. So maybe. <laughs> that's the thing. Like, kids are always like, oh my God, 30. That's so old. And it's like, 30 year olds play high schoolers yes i think and i don't think people realize that yeah but the iffy thing is like with that show never have i ever the girl who was in high school was actually like a teenager and then the guy who she's the love interest who's also in high school was like 30 years old yeah that's weird and they have like scenes where you know oh boy they're in love (laughs) doing lovey things yeah anyway that's the right sound for that (laughs) yeah (laughs) Yeah. Uh okay I'm doing the anime. <laughs> we kind of watched. We answered that one. Someone said, "What's your favorite Adam Sandler movie?" Oh, gr- oh. I don't know. What a great you question. Be Halloween. No way. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm totally <laughs> kidding. Um, uh, uh, mine's the Wedding Singer. Oh, great! I want to make you smile yeah. whenever you're sad. Yeah, we Kay. did play that at our wedding. Oh, that's right. I was yeah. there. Yep. That was really yeah. nice. <laughs> yes, that's uh, one of the more recent ones I've seen. I hadn't I hadn't seen that one until like last year. But I've seen every other Adam Sandler movie. I'm right? trying to think of Adam Sandler movies. My Happy favorite Happy one is Punch, Punch, Punch Drunk Love. My favorite is oh. Punch Drunk wow. Love, Paul Thomas Anderson's uh, movie. It's Dramatic so movie. good. It's on HBO Max or maybe Netflix right now. Oh, I love it. It's very, very good. Love Billy it. Madison, Happy Gilmore, Big Daddy, Anger oh, Management. Big Daddy. Um, Big Daddy. Grown Ups, uh, Jack and Jill, which is surprisingly hilarious that's I don't know if you, my boy have you seen uh, that's my boy with nick swartzen have Billy you seen Jack madison and Jill? yeah i thought it was unbelievably funny i just think like anything he, like uh, hubie halloween was terrible but i still thought it was funny because it was him yeah the only thing that i didn't like with him recently was that movie he did with jennifer aniston that murder like, mystery yeah oh yeah that was bad it I was all right too. they're filming another one i know i like not it. a fan no i didn't like, I like it anything either. i guess 50 first dates i don't know Oh, well, that's a good. That's a good. I don't one. think I've seen like a lot of them. Like oh, obviously, Fifty First Dates. Yeah. Oh, that's a great one. Yeah, it's, it's like classic. one of my least favorite Adam Sandler movies. Why? It's. I think it's because it's too serious and it, it's like so repetitive for me that it like makes me anxious. Do you think it's a little weird? Yeah. The movie. <laughs> it like, is weird. Yeah. <laughs> like it is sweet that he's falling in love with a girl. Yeah. But then I'm like, dude, <laughs> like, that's kind. That's yeah. kind of like you're getting off on like that. The yeah. idea. Great. Yeah. I also like the one, um, it's like a more recent one. Just go with it. Oh, that's a great one. I yes. really like that one. With uh Jennifer, Jennifer Aniston. Aniston. Yep. Yeah. And some yeah, other they're like, he's work. always with Jennifer Aniston. Wait, what's the one where they take a trip? It's kind of recent too. They go on like a trip with another couple or something. Just go I think with that's it. just go Is with that it. just go with it? Yeah. yeah, okay. He's like marrying someone and she works for him and he's like, Come with me. I don't remember. And pretend to be my ex-wife. Yes, exactly. Oh my god, yes. yes. This yeah, new one though, the basketball one, oh, is really good. But I I've only it. I only watched half of it, and I, I really liked it. it. Yeah, it's kind of like a one of those movies where nothing, like there's no real point to it, <laughs> but it's still enjoyable. Sounds and I like, like my that, kind of movie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, a packing movie. He's just like such a good actor too, because you can have him yeah. be like a total dumbass, but then he does really good at serious Punch stuff like Uncut, Love, gems, Uncut like Gems, that kind of stuff. Punch Uncut Club. Gems. I'm gonna watch that again tonight, even though I watched it a few days ago. Oh, I love that your Vecna movie. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here's a good one. Who was your first movie crush? I guess you kind of said like Xenon was. Well, yeah. But this person said mine was Joseph Gordon Levitt in Angels in the Outfield when I was like five. So technically, he was my first crush ever. Oh, man. And they said, oh, also Benny from The Sandlot. 
Oh, that's a great character. Yeah. I had a crush on a cartoon. I forget what it was, <laughs> but he was in, uh, it was in the movie Dumbo. Oh, Dumbo? Horrifying. Wait, a cartoon? So you had an, a crush on a cartoon that. animal? It's a scary movie. Dumbo's so scary. But I don't remember sad. it. It's like Dumbo's friend. I don't know. I'll have to look was it he, up. Was I'll it a, a real pig. boy or an animal? No, a real boy. A real <laughs> boy. <laughs> like, you, had a, you had a crush on like, like a, a No, I said you had a crush on other, what was that I also had a crush on Millhouse from yeah. The Simpsons. From The Simpsons? Millhouse? Yes. yes. <laughs> like the nerd that nobody likes? Yes. Millhouse. I don't want to oh talk about God. it. Okay. Wait, who was the I guy f- in Dumbo? I feel like, like, you know, you get like little mini crushes, but my first real like crush crush was definitely Heath Ledger in 10 Things I Hate About You. Oh, God. And then I also had a big oh. crush on um, Penn Badgley in John Tucker Must Die. Because they look the same. Yep. Which one's him? Oh, that's the guy from You. <laughs> yeah. Which one's him? <laughs> that guy still looks the same. I that's know. That's him? Yeah. Well, you should see him in John Tucker Must Die. He has like the long hair. Like it, it, That was like my awakening. I was like, I like emo boys. Does it, what does he, is he like the, the school DJ or something? Yeah. Or he plays like, yeah. I want you yeah. to want me. <laughs> well, I don't think he, act, yeah, but yeah, that's his exact character. He's John Tucker's brother. Wait, what's the ending song of 10 Things I Hate About You? I want, it's, um. That's the, that's the ending song. Yeah. It's I, 10 Things I Hate About You, I want you to. Oh. No, it, no, that's in, that's in the movie. The song that ends is like. The band's on the roof yes, of the school and it, they pull yes. out that final shot. What song is she singing? It's, I think that band's song. Like, it's not a real. Oh. It's like a made for the movie song. Or is it I Want You to Want Me? No, I feel no like because at the end of John prom. Tucker Must Die, she goes, and that's when I realized I want you to, to want, want me. me. Yeah. I'm trying to, because they have that song that she plays at prom, but then I'm pretty sure <laughs> at the end, yeah. Oh, damn. I wish I knew that a little bit better. I'm sorry. It's absolutely in the movie. Maybe it is the ending song. They. I just feel like they both have the same energy. Yeah, that's like a 90s movie. Can we look it up? Yeah, I am. Who were your crushes? Did you have a... I don't think I ever had a movie crush. Are you going to look up ending ten scene things. for 10 Things I Hate About yeah. You? Okay. This Is this... <laughs> this is kind of a little bit. Okay. Well, it well, is. I want you to want me. And then ending to uh, John Tucker must spot die. So you got any big plans this weekend? Or... <laughs> 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 These are the hard-hitting facts. Dirty little, dirty little secret. Oh, is it? Okay, but did we, we did we just figure out something that ten things I had about you and John Tucker must die are like related? Had the same ending. They, <laughs> like, have, the, they have the same song. Just the same end. song. In it, the... it literally is the. I just typed in ending song of John Tucker must die. I want you to want me live. Damn, Way to go. gotta do a rewatch God. on Johnny Tuck Tuck. I haven't watched that in so long. My childhood crush, childhood crush when I was a kid, mm-hmm. was the little girl in My Girl. <gasps> oh, sad. Yeah. Oh, no remember, spoilers again. <laughs> I just remember as a kid, I was just like, that girl is so pretty. Aww. And I liked her. And then as like a teenager, <laughs> I liked uh, Kirsten Dunst and Bring It On. Oh, of yes. course. Oh, man. I think w- one thing I would like to cover before we wrap is everyone's favorite actor and actress. I think that's a good like. I don't really have. You Ready? don't have a favorite actor? I don't think so. <gasps> okay. okay. I just like well, watch movies for what they are. Christian <laughs> Bale in Dark Knight. <laughs> um, ooh. Like an actor where you're like, okay, if this guy's in this movie, I'm going to go see it. Or if this actress is in a movie, I just want to see her performance. I'm not like really like that. Oh, I know. I'm not like that either. I don't really think about um, it, I guess. But if I see that someone's in it, I'm like, oh, that's probably going to be good. But, but I'm not like, I have to see them in it. Did you ever like have a like an actor? Johnny you, Depp, 100%. Johnny Depp. He's a great actor to yeah, follow no, his career. I was career. obsessed with him. I like was a fan of him too. When, I mean, like not to be like whatever, but then when the Pirates yeah. of the movie, ca- Pirates of the Caribbean, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, damn, this sucks. Like now he's just going to be some like big so famous, actor yeah. and like whatever. Because he used to do all these cool indie like roles. Blow yeah. And, yeah, Blow. Yeah, underground and, um, anymore. Uh, uh, what's the other one that he did? Um, like Nick of Time, like all these weird oh, Johnny God, Depp movies, yeah. and then he's like now this big guy. But yeah, he's, he's yeah. We the best. were like before fame, Johnny Depp. Yeah, even I, though like I was a Pirates girly, like I would go to the midnight mass showings. <laughs> Pirates of the Caribbean came out on my birthday. Happy birthday! I haven't July seen 9th. any of them. Thank I've you. like protested them, but I feel like they're really good, right? They like you've get... never seen them. No. Nope. Well, first one's great. Second one, if you can keep up, it's pretty good. <laughs> and then by up. the third, fourth, buddy. 
You tell me what the movie's about. <laughs> no, literally, <laughs> yeah. Tell me, even a Pirates of the Caribbean fan can't even explain to really? you. Really? No, oh. they just get like so ridiculous. Oh, it's okay. like not even worth anything. watching. Oh yeah, the world's end, and yeah. then like the. I did see some. I think it was on TikTok though. It was a clip. I don't know which one it's from, but when they like go over the waterfall, on like the, the world's black end. Pr- yeah. Okay, yeah, that was filmed at Niagara Falls. Like they used the shots, but I was like, how did they do that? I'm assuming it's just like the. They high got, up shots yeah but i thought that's pretty interesting wow fact. that's pretty cool yeah um my favorite actor well my favorite actress is annette benning and then my favorite actor i would say would probably be <laughs> probably be bradley whitford or paul dano oh interesting yep paul dano's good that's only what i know from all of them is it dano or dano oh, oh, i don't know but i saw i saw him on uh saturday where Ooh. he was eating at that sushi restaurant near the henry Ooh, i walked henry. by and i was like wow. cool. do you know the story about him with uh there will be blood uh that he originally was going well the, there was that one guy and they replaced him with yeah. paul dano so paul dano ended up playing two roles and he acts like he's a twin but it's also a way of interpreting was he conning him into thinking that he was somebody else when he first met oh. well that that is true but the the thing that's interesting that i wanted to just mention in case you didn't know is that daniel day lewis had six months to prepare for his role as daniel plainview and have you seen there will be blood no oh my god it's like this it takes place in 1900 it's like a western <laughs> it's uh like really dramatic it's about the oil industry and like this guy going out west to like dig for oil and daniel day lewis plays like this Ooh. incredible character he had six months to prepare and then paul dano was supposed to have like one scene in the movie and there's another character that has like a lot of scenes with uh daniel day lewis and then like they were supposed to start shooting on monday and on like the Thursday before this other actor just dropped out or there was a conflict. So they told Paul Dano like, okay, you're actually going to be playing the second lead in this movie in like four days. So you're watching this movie of like the best actor of his generation, Daniel Day-Lewis, who had six months to prepare for his role, work with this guy, Paul Dano, who had four days and he's just goes toe to toe with him the whole time. Can you not believe that? Wow. It's Damn. amazing. He does such a good job in that movie. And you're just, I mean, it's, it's just, I, it's not like scary. The main movies, there will be blood. So it sounds mm-hmm. scary, but it's just like a really good, like dramatic, like do, do a Daniel plain view impression. I'm not doing a Daniel plain view impression. Oh, I've abandoned my boy, <sighs> my child. Yeah. It's so oh, it's my boy. Yeah. yeah it's I'm like, like huh? uh, sorry, I'm sorry. Daniel <laughs> plain view. I'm an oiled man. I'm going to be honest. The whole time you were telling that story, I wasn't really listening. Cause I was just thinking about how Jennifer Lopez is honestly not a bad actress. <laughs> she, Jennifer she's Lopez. great. Selena. Enough? Oh, enough. Come on. There's a movie called Enough? Oh, yes. You've never seen it? Oh my god, it is it's so good. You'll have to phenomenal. watch it. Phenomenal. You gotta watch it. I think she got a bad she- rap for being in that movie Geely, right? She uh G Geely with uh her and Ben, ben Affleck, Affleck. Yeah, it was is like a bad one movie. of the worst movies of all time. I think her career, like people that stops. must have been like early on no, dude, it, she's come back in some other stuff like think made in manhattan the wedding planner oh, yeah. like she iconic like early she, the new movie though 90s. marry me or whatever oh bad, god terrible. for both of them owen wilson too yeah i thought it wasn't that bad or i haven't seen it but i heard it it looks like a <laughs> lifetime like <laughs> no, tv movie like oh my god i was trying and i'm all for like bad movies like i enjoy them but yeah. i couldn't watch it oh, i don't god. know if it's because it was like around christmas and i was like this isn't the vibe but it just felt like it was too like Forced? Yeah. Yeah. Do y'all have letterboxed accounts? I don't even I don't know, know what that is. You should we should um make some and we can link them down below. It's a it's a really cool app where you can like rate and review movies oh, and stuff. Oh. And yeah, it was that. good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, I liked I, it. I don't I just usually star things. I don't really write like that clever of a review, but I need to start doing it more often. But it's a great way to like keep up with what people are watching. So if you guys want to check out my letterbox, <laughs> it will be linked down below. It, it's a cool service. Like we have a friend who works at a24 and he's like a he sees every movie that comes out and like he'll matt get, grippy they know oh, him. you know matt grippy oh yeah um, we knew him before you <laughs> okay um he, he works at a24 right yeah um so like he he but he's always talking about movies and if i'm ever like what do i watch i'll go on matt grippy's oh, letterbox sure. see what he's watched oh, recently cool. and then, it's like good reads but for movies exactly yes Got it. yes Should well we... yeah i think that's yeah, uh, I gotta so this was fun hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this talking this movie <laughs> Hopefully you enjoyed watching us talking about watching things. Um, And I hope that you have a really great week. I hope that you go and see um, a movie that moves you.
Let us know if there is a movie that you think we haven't seen that you think we should. Yeah. Um, comment down it below. Get in arguments with everybody. Argue about what <laughs> is the best movie. And um, hopefully you make some discoveries along the way. Thank you so much for watching Good Influences. I'm Matt King. Signing out. <laughs> and I'm signing out. Signing out. All right. Bye, guys. Bye.